Hi, this is Michael Boss with D-Boss Firearms. So we were just went over the, the Gear Azer, uh, the Fear 116, so it's an AR-12 AR format. And in the middle of that, we got interrupted greatly by the FedEx driver who dropped off the Bullpup Gear Azer that we've been waiting for. We haven't unboxed it from the case yet, so this is gonna be our first time opening it. Um, this is literally a box that had just come in, uh, so we had to stop stop the, the the video to be able to accept it and to take it out of, of the cardboard box. Now we're actually going to be doing the reveal of the Gary Azer Bullpup. So I'm going to open her up here really quick again. It comes in a hard case instead of a, a cardboard box, so that's really nice. And here it is. Yeah, you can hear the crunching. All right, so what do we have here? We have the chokes on here. Okay, this one comes with two chokes. Looks like they're short. What does this say? Heavy loads only, read instruction manual. All right. So again, it looks like a very simple design. This one has five, five round, two five round magazines. This is really nice, I love this case. This is the first case that I've seen that, that actually uh, has the spots to put the stuff in. Uh, so we're going to take it out here. Quality control is approved. That's a good thing. <laughs> we know it's been tested. Warning, light load gas ring in gun. Read instruction manual. Okay, so it comes with two different gas rings. So light load, heavy load. All right, let's see how this thing racks. Oh, all right, so the Pop-up sights are the push down, push push this lever down, and then you the pop up. It does look like it's really uh, really thick, really wide. In here, all right. Let's see. True test is how it sounds when we rack it. Sounds kind of mean. Like it. Uh, it definitely is, definitely is uh, heavyweight. I would say the back end is a little bit heavier than than the front end overall. This this does weigh more than the Fear 116. The Gary's of Fear 116 weighs, I would probably say, a good two pounds less than this one. Um, but again. We won't know anything until we go into the field on this and test it out. So it does also look like it comes with the quick release for the sling. On here, it does not look like it has anything in the front for a sling attachment. So it looks like it might be just a, just a one-sided. We're going to take the... Attachment off of the Fear 116 here. Let's see if it fits on here. Okay, so it does. It does fit onto the gear razor bullpup. So this one, very simple design, very heavy duty. It looks like the mag release is right here. So let's load one up and take a peek here. This one's a little bit further back. Uh, we had the Rock Island v, the VRBP uh, 100A in here. This seemed to be a little bit further up by by the by the grip, so it was kind of a little, you know, for people with meatier hands, you know, would probably have a little bit of issue with it. This one seems a little bit further back, a little bit easier to to handle. It has has the foregrip on here already built in has a Picatinny rail to put some, some stuff on. Um, all in all, it seems like it's gonna be a pretty sturdy, pretty sturdy gun. Uh, Semi-auto. Box in the place, see how, oh, this one is, is worn in a little. It pops right away, don't have to freaking slam it. All right, so yep, yep, the release is right here. So all that you're gonna be doing is just pulling that and it pops out. Dad, I'm, I'm starting to really dig this gun. 
So yeah, uh, if you uh, let me know what you think of this video, put comments comments below, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon.